Hello guys and welcome back in Arizona in our Arizona Adventure Park in the Hippodome. Today we are finishing the part of the Hippodome where our big hippos are going to live in. Um, I made in the beginning um, a quite a few little changes because I wasn't really happy with how the um, the glass fence was looking so I decided I'm not going for a custom-made fence here but I'm going for the in-game underwater fence that we had from um, uh, come with the aquatic pack and um, I think it looks very much better now and I'm yeah overall very very happy with how it looks right now um, because the the um, custom fence that I was making looked a little bit too edgy um, for this dome build um, we had this nice round shape and these uh, soft structures everywhere and with these uh, yeah with this edgy fence I was I wasn't that happy with it so I had to change it yeah then we are going I am going to do some decoration in here um, with the sidewalk again and um, yeah I have to admit in the end when I am finished with the indoor section of the hippos um, I think it still looks a little bit empty in here I don't know what you guys think just let me know in the comments if uh, there is something that you would have changed or you have uh, you would have added in here uh, maybe it's just me and you say everything is fine um, yeah just let me know what I was doing um, is um, I made some kind of a staircase for the hippos. Um, that is something that you see quite often in uh, real life zoos, um, in uh, elephant houses and um, um, uh, yeah, also also in hippo houses and um, uh, for nearly every animal that has an indoor pool, um, you have something like a staircase in here. Yeah, and that was something that I was doing as well. Um, also as covering up the inside um, of the house because I thought, um, uh, yeah, there wouldn't be natural, uh, natural floor or... Um, so I had to change that. Yeah, and I also had to um, cover the doorway for the hippos where they can leave the building because um, you wouldn't have it like this right now with just the pieces kept out from uh, from the building so I was changing this quite a bit and also using a lot of these plaster pieces again um, to make it look to make it look a little bit like uh, like the rest of uh, of the building um, especially the inside and also the rest of the buildings that we already have in our zoo. Yeah, I'm also covering the sides of the building with, uh, with these plaster pieces um, uh, because yeah, that it, that it would match with the, uh, with the inside and look uh, a lot more realistic. I also was thinking if I should make the whole outdoor pool um, uh, covered with those plaster pieces but um, in the end I decided no that's not what I'm going to do. That's not what I want to do. I want to give the outside a little bit more of a natural look and not with these man-made uh, pieces. So I yeah I just uh, left it that way. Also, I had to cover up um, the outside um, section of the pool um, close to the fence for uh, for the visitors. I also used these big plaster pieces um, there for and covered everything up here. <coughs> Sorry for that. Yeah, as you already can see, I cut a lot of this out uh, once again because um, it was uh, a little bit back and forth the whole time 
putting down the pieces and deleting it again and um, yeah so I cut it out and you see the the end product I might say um, I had to drink a little bit sorry for that because my uh, my throat is a little bit scratchy right now no I'm not going to get sick uh, I'm not going to get corona as well um, god forbid uh, I'm already vaccinated three times, so um, I hope I'm safe for that. But you never know. Okay, it's time for the outside, um, for the, I might say, the dry area for the hippos. I was copying the rock wall from uh, from our big cat, no, sorry, not big cat, um, from our cat's canyon um, over here. Um, just to cover the posts um, from our monorail a little bit and also to have a nice shaped background area for um, yeah land area for our hippos and I think in the end it looked pretty nice um, and that's also something that I might say I think um, many US American um, zoos might look like this not zoos but, but habitats with this uh, fake rock wall in, uh, in the background but um, yeah make it make it look uh, interesting and um, realistic with a lot of plants and um, yeah it reminds me a little bit but I don't know why of um, San Diego you might correct me on this one um, if I'm totally wrong but it gives me a little bit of uh, San Diego Zoo or San Diego anim uh, Wild Animal Park uh, feeling Yeah, and I've also been to both of them, um, I have to say. Because I'm a little zoo nerd, um, <laughs> you might uh, you might think about that because um, I'm um, yeah I'm doing a lot of work in Planet Zoo, but in uh, in real time as well, I'm uh, I really love uh, to visit zoos. I've been to a lot of zoos all over the world not just in germany not just in uh, in europe i might say um i also been to some zoos in uh, in the us because i've been there quite often and um yeah and and um, of course all over europe especially in germany of course there's almost no big german zoo that i haven't been to yet um, also um, Czech Republic, um, the Netherlands, um, some zoos in, in Spain, in, um, in Italy and um, Belgium, of course, Paradisa, um, a very important zoo, um, a very exciting zoo and um, yeah. So I have seen a lot already. And I'm still not sick of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, what I'm doing here is um, uh, giving the whole build some more realism because, um, of course, this, uh, this whole area wouldn't be open the whole time. And also, if the keepers would go in there to, uh, to clean the inside section or the outdoor section, um, there might be a uh, a door that you can close when you go into and also for the night time you want the, uh, to have the animals safe and sound inside the house and not outside when nobody is there and um, could take care of them and uh, watch them so um, yeah we had to uh, to put down these doors so that in theory you could close the whole thing and keep the animals inside or outside wherever you want them to have um, to have to be yeah putting down some signs some education boards um, in the 
indoors and um, I guess we are finished with the uh, yeah with the inside um, of our hippodome here oh yeah we had to put down um, a door here as well um, where the visitors can enter the building um, of course I, uh, I used once again the plaster pieces and colored them white and um, did something similar that we did with the um, door for the hippos um, but um, chose some different pieces this time and I also noticed at the end of the video um, as I gave the whole build um, a new look I was realizing that um, I didn't do something like this for um, where our monorail enters and exits the building so that's something that I have to go into as well I think I might do that off cam um, because you've seen that now quite a lot how to um, do that how to um, put in doors in, uh, in those um, bubble buildings I might say so um, I guess you're you're not you're not mad at me if I'm doing this off camera yeah putting down these glass doors um, I still can't remember where those come from um, so I guess these might be some new pieces of the Europe DLC um, because I can't remember that I have seen them um, before in, uh, in any kind of build also putting down some kind of a doorstep here using those brick um, uh, pieces and also putting in a door knob um, I usually had some problems finding these pieces um, because I often build some uh, custom doors and uh, I couldn't find something like a door knob um, or something like that and uh, finally I managed to find something um, this is some uh, something that is usually used for um, yeah, for signs or for uh, for education boards, and um, yeah, it uh, it works pretty perfect for uh, for door. And here's something that I also wanted to have in this build. Um, that's something that I already did in uh, in another zoo of mine in uh, in the Swamp Lake Zoo that I'm talking about um, sometimes, um, where I built. Um, an Amazon um, house and I wanted to have these um, rope curtains that you see in uh, some indoor sections um, of, uh, of Seuss um, mostly used for uh, for the purpose when they um, are keeping birds or smaller animals in the building and they don't want them to uh, to escape or go from one part of the building into another so that they could not uh, go there so um, yeah that's uh, that's what I wanted here as well um, for the um, yeah for uh, how do I say that for um, when you leave the part of the uh, of the building where the big hippos are and you um, go to the part where uh, the pygmy hippos are living it's not that we have birds in this building not yet um, we might have them sometimes um, in the near future or in the far future who knows that but I'm pretty sure we will get birds at some time um, yeah I'm not quite sure if it will be possible to put the birds um, inside this building then but um, we might do as this would be um, a possible and um, yeah so what I'm doing here what you um, could see is um, uh, giving the ropes uh, a different length so that uh, the whole thing looks a little bit more realistic yeah and I think it uh, works pretty fine with this rope curtain because um, yeah that already gives it a, a little more closed look yeah now it's time to put down the actual barriers for the habitat of the hippos so that we can put in the actual animals 
Um, and what I'm also doing after I finished this is um, I'm going to build um, a very, very simple, very easy, nothing special um, building for, uh, for our Sioux stuff because um, we definitely need some more of them um, because those uh, that we already have um, yeah are quite uh, are quite busy so um, we definitely need some new building and some new stuff so um, that our um, our people can take care of our animals and no animal will be starving in our zoo um, I also have to admit um, I'm, I'm admitting it right here and not when the animals are in the habitat that this habitat is um, a little bit too small for our hippos because the hippos um, in the game uh, do need quite a lot of space um, they wouldn't need that I should not say they wouldn't need that um, they wouldn't have that in um, in a zoo normally um, uh, this would be in a, in a real life zoo quite a, quite a huge habitat um, for them I think but um, yeah in this game they need a lot of space it's uh, not that crazy like it is with uh, with the polar bears um, but uh, yeah they do need a lot of space so what I did is um, I deselected um, uh, the uh, animal needs the uh, animal welfare because I didn't want to have um, all the notifications um, in uh, the whole time um, I could have made the habitat bigger um, that would have caused me a lot of problems because um, of the path and um, the barrier and the water and so on and so I decided not to go there and not to make it bigger um, but to yeah to deselect animal welfare so that was the easier way Norm uh, normally when I'm building in uh, in zoos and um, uh, building habitats for the animals um, even if it is a uh, sandbox or franchise or whatever um, normally I always take care of what do the animals need and trying to fulfill the needs of the animals as uh, as much as possible and bringing it to nearly 100 percent but um, yeah I decided we are not going to do this here in this zoo um, even if we are going to build habitats that would be good uh, or even great for the animals we are not um, going too crazy about that and i think you guys might be okay with that as well so um yeah and uh, in the end it's up to you if you are um, okay with that um, then you're going to build similar and if you are not um, you're going to make it different when you build a zoo for your own so there's that I think yeah as I said um, there's not um, a special building for uh, for our staff um, uh, but I think it would be nice when the keepers uh, preparing food when they are able to look inside the habitat of the hippos so um, that's that little should I call it gimmick um, yeah my god little gimmick that we uh, that we have here on um, but else there's nothing special about this building not yet we might do something to it um, in a later stage but um, right now I'm fine with how it looks yeah and then we are going to have some planting in uh, in the habitat as well because right now we just have rocks and sand and that is nothing that our hippos would be too happy with so i'm going to put down some palm trees some uh, cacti and some shrubbery um, all around the habitat 
and um, it is very important because we don't have that massive um, space on, on land for our hippos because they don't need that massive land space um, we don't want to block the whole thing too much so what I'm going to do is put down the plants um, the bigger plants uh, like here on the outside of uh, the habitat behind the wall because that gives the whole thing a nice look um, and the whole habitat is not that cramped in uh, in plants and um, yeah that's also something you can uh, you can do with animals that don't like to have too many plants in the habitat you can uh, you can use the trick and put down the plants like I did here outside or behind the wall and um, it still would look um, nice and dense and um, your animals would uh, wouldn't care about the plants outside yeah I cut a lot of it out um, here so you see I put down a lot of the plants some more bushes and shrubbery to give it a little bit more color variation um, and uh, one more tree and then I guess we're good to go and um, yeah it looks like a nice habitat it almost has a little bit of a beachy vibe um, um, also, you might have noticed that our keepers can um, will enter the building um, in the inside. So, um, yeah, they will only be uh, able to enter the dome, but not the habitat um, outside. So, if you are going to build like this, um, there's no problem with that um, the keeper will clean the habitat uh, even the outside um, even if he can not go there I don't know how he does that but it works um, but make sure that everything that he has to fill up with food is in the inside um, always on the side where the keeper can enter the habitat um, because that's the only thing that would not be possible if you have the keeper um, entering the uh, the habitat on the uh, on the inside of the building and um, you have the whole stuff for the food outside um, that would not be possible the keeper would not um, be able to uh, to fill the food up so always um, put down the items with food in that part of the habitat where the keeper actually can uh, can reach it but I guess I have said that already um, when we built lemur islands because we have um, the same problem I might say there um, yeah what you've seen a few um, seconds before was also um, I put down these um, waterfall enrichment item um, I might call it um, in the um, in the inside of the habitat and um, put it down um, yeah where the hippos are leaving the house so um, yeah so that they automatically would um, have to use that enrichment item once they are leaving the building. Here I was covering up some of um, some of the blank space that we all um, that we still had here in this um, area um, where you can enter the house, and I also um, decided that we are going with another flower bed in here. And I still have so much um, space that is, um, yeah, that needs some uh, some more love because um, we have a lot of gaps still everywhere in uh, in the zoo, especially when you enter the zoo and you go to the right side where the hippodome is. 
um, uh, we have so much um, uh, gaps everywhere and I'm still trying to process what to put down there. Um, I got a lot of ideas. Um, Emela, um, um, I hope I pronounced the name right, um, uh, said to me in the comments, um, what about an um, education um, uh, build or a keeper talk or something like that. Um, yeah, I was um, I was thinking of um, putting down something like that near to Lemur Islands, but the problem was um, I was starting to build it and um, then the whole thing blocked the view to the hippodomes and that is something that I didn't want to have. So I might go with some kind of um, uh, flower beds in there as well. And um, I put down this education uh, point. Um, yeah, maybe maybe in between the hippo habitat and the entrance building. But um, yeah, we might see this in uh, in some future episodes. In the next episode, um, we are going to build uh, the habitat for the pygmy hippos, and um, trying to finish the whole part of the zoo here so that we can go into another project. Um, yeah, I still would love to have some ideas what you guys want to see after we finish the Hippodome. Um, what kind of animal should we put into our zoo? Um, yeah, please think about that, that I don't want to add animals that live in a cold environment. So there's not going to be some king penguins, polar bears or uh, snow leopards um, or um, uh, yeah, arctic foxes, arctic wolves or something like that. But um, I'm open for everything else. Maybe some, uh, some bears, tropical bears or some monkeys, some apes. Um, whatever um, I'm pretty open to to any suggestions so uh, so just let me know in the comments what you guys want to see or what you think would fit in the zoo right now yeah and we are finished with our big hippos we have three of them in here uh, one male and two females just having a look around and I really 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 love how uh, the whole thing looks even with the monorail going through this um, yeah but as I said I think um, for my taste I feel like something's missing inside so um, if you have any ideas or if you think no it's perfect like it is just let me know in the comments and um, yeah otherwise I might go into it um, at some time again yeah so we are at the end of the video we are just having another look around yeah isn't that beautiful with the monorail going through that that's so cool yeah can't wait to finish on the other side of the pygmy hippos um, in the next few days Okay, so guys, have fun with our hippos, just have a look at them and um, if you like the video, just leave me a like, I would appreciate this a lot because I noticed many of you watch my videos and watch it from beginning to the end, um, so I suggest that you like it but you forget to click on the like button. So it would mean the world to me if you leave a like leave a comment, subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss another episode. Um, also, Fix My Habitat is online again if you haven't seen it already. And um, yeah, <laughs> so it's time for me to be quiet and leave you alone, guys. Thanks for watching, have a great time and see you in the next video where we build for our pygmy hippos. Bye, guys.